Movies, huh? Well, I like the movies. Who are you going to the movies with? Another moviegoer. Oh, you're gonna be cute, huh? All right, what is her name, this anonymous moviegoer? It's, uh, I didn't really ask. It's sort of an anonymous movie-going club. You know, it's the latest thing. You know how crazy and trendy we teens are. Okay. Home at 11. What if my watch stops? Then your life stops. So who's picking you up for this fabulous night of bingo? Another bingo player. This other bingo player, does she have a name? It's conceivable. Conceivable? Okay then, young lady. I want you home by 11. A.M. or P.M.? There's four over easy, three or four scramble. We got two boiled, the bacon's done, and the pancakes are on the way, the hash browns. Hash browns, I forgot the hash browns. Hank, this is a lot of fried food. I mean, it's not exactly healthy. Maybe we should just... Oh, we should, yes, maybe we should. But let me tell you two things, love of my life. Firstly, this is what in my day was referred to as a healthy breakfast, meaning it kept you warm in the winter and in the summer, it also kept you warm. And secondly, may I remind you, you work in a greasy spoon. So isn't that a little bit like the skillet calling the frying pan greasy? Now watch the magic of the Kowalchuk breakfast as it sends out its aroma and its sirens call throughout the house. Your logic is flawed. Oh, it smells good. The first to answer the call. I am starving. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, oh, pancakes. Oh, I want some pancakes. Don't I know my magic? Is Aunt Kate back from Edmonton yet? No, not for another two days. What is she doing there? Stuff. Stuff. It's always stuff. Good morning. Ooh, bacon. Hey, behave. Crispy, just the way I like it. Hey, I was a movie last night. It's okay. Speaking of last night, how was bingo? Yeah, did you get lucky? <laughs> uh, you know, Vicky, you never really answered Bobby's question about the movie last night. Uh, was there lots of kissing in the movie? It was a great movie, Dad. Yeah, lots of fun. And? And I went with a boy. Happy. And? And, well, it... Well, what? What, what? You know what. What? <sighs> Fine, he's Indian, okay? If you must know everything. He's really nice. Indian. Like daughter, like father, only in reverse. <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, well, uh, if you guys will excuse me, I'm just gonna go get my stuff. Vicky has stuff too. Didn't you want to eat pancakes? Oh, I just, just save me some. I'll get some later. Like magic. All right, boys, load up. Walt. Johnny. Good morning. Uh, is Vicky here? So you're the new Indian. Pansy. <laughs> come, 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 come. Shh. What? what was that? Just, I'll tell you later. Come on. Who was it? She was right. He is a nice Indian boy. <laughs> You're in a good mood. Times are good. 
Vicky, you finished it. Keep it quiet. My dad will freak if he knows you're in here. What? Are you trying to get me killed? It's okay. I just need a couple more minutes to get ready. What if he comes in? Do you really want to know? Vicky. Relax. He never comes in. Hey. hey. Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm getting changed. Okay, well, uh, eat something before you go. See? My parents at least know you exist. Yeah, but do they accept me? No, they have issues. They're just stuck in their own ways. Oh, that's a gentle way of putting it. They're not racist, Vicky. Neither are my parents. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? I... I'm not sure. Neither am I. You know what? I don't care what anybody thinks, because you're so cute, it doesn't even matter. Your dad sounded really big. <sighs> hey, Hank. Did you know my mother had a date last night? Must be spring. Well, actually, it's the first day of summer tomorrow. And we all know what that means. Yeah. It's time for Donnie to cut the grass. What? No, it's also National Aboriginal Day. There's a big barbecue in the park with dancing and food and stuff like that. We have to go, Hank. Oh, yeah, that is tomorrow, right after Donnie cuts the grass. Oh, man, that's unfair. Hey, Mom, I have an idea. Why don't you invite your bingo boyfriend to the barbecue? I'm sure we'd all like to see him. I mean, meet him, wouldn't we, gang? What about Vicky and her new beau? What about him? If I have to, why shouldn't she? I've heard rumors this is a fair and equal country. That's a good point, Cookham. A very good point. I'll let her know. I'm sure she'll be delighted. <laughs> What's so funny? It's an Indian thing. Josie, Josie. Listen, I don't think we should invite these, these extra people. Uh, we don't know them. Well, that's why they're invited, so we can get to know them. I think today should just be family. We're celebrating Native culture, and part of that is sharing it with others. Listen, what, what does a nice Indian boy mean? What are you talking about? It's what Cookham said. She said, Vicky's dating a nice Indian boy. Well. What are you confused about exactly? That he's nice or that he's an Indian? No, 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 no. Firstly, the way she said it, she said it with a smile, this certain smile. And secondly, it's never nice when some teenage boy comes sniffing around your daughter. Oh, let her have her fun. Clean fun. Vicky knows what's what. But I, she's too young to know what's what. I don't want her to know what's what. Loosen up. Loosen up, eh? All right, so what about this, uh, this bingo partner of Cookham's? I suppose he knows what's what, huh? Uh, he's another nice Indian man, is that it? What has that got to do with anything? Oh, all right. You're happy to consider the mental image of Cookham having a good, clean fun, huh? I'll bet she knows what's what and then some. Where do you think I get it from? I don't mean that. I, I mean, what? What? That! So great, great. We'll just celebrate National Roll in the Hay Day instead of National Aboriginal Day. Listen, do you even know this man? No. But well, that's what I'm saying. In mystery lies danger. Look, Hank, I trust Cookham's judgment. And I think you should start letting Vicky make her own decisions. Fine. Fine. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep my eyes on that nice Indian boy. Suggest you do the same. Fine. <laughs> Your barbecue. Traditional Aboriginal fare. Hot dogs and hamburgers. So, Hank, is there such a thing as National Ukrainian Day? Uh, no, I don't believe there is. Why not? 
Well, son, for example, uh, you have today to celebrate, whereas I have all the rest of the year. But don't worry, both of you are honorary Ukrainians. I am? Absolutely. Sweet. Son, I give you the scepter of power. Sizzle well. You are so full of it. Eh, the truth, the truth hurts a little, I know. Vicky, where's this boyfriend of yours? Or is he off uh, drowning kittens somewhere? Dad, he'll be here. I'll, I'll go look for him. Then the one he's got a tattoo on his face. Well, 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 here's the first surprise of the day. Hello. You must be Josie and Hank. I've heard so much about you. My name is Graham, Graham McMaster. Well, very nice to meet you, sir. Delighted that you could make it. Please, have a seat. Uh, the food's almost ready. Aren't they a cute couple? Like mother, like daughter, only not in reverse. <clears throat> and here's the second surprise of the day. Dad, everyone, this is Erin. Sensei. <laughs> What's so funny? Long story. Dad, aren't you gonna say anything? Uh, duh. <laughs> Don't mind him. Barbie kids always choke him up. <sighs> Grab a seat while there's still one available and there's drinks in the cooler. Hey, can I talk to you? Talk? Yeah. We, we talk. So, where are you from? Originally? Yeah, Calgary. No, I, I mean, like, before that. Oh, you mean my homeland? Yeah. Vancouver. surprise for you, but thinking. It didn't seem to bother you when you thought he was my kind of Indian, so what's the difference? <sighs> difference? It's... There is no uh, difference. It's just... Uh... It's just what? I mean, you're obviously not yourself over this. So what? You were expecting maybe a feather Indian instead of a dot Indian? What? Wild rice instead of basmati rice? Is that it? Are you that shallow? I like all kinds of rice. I, I, I'm not shallow. I'm, I'm deep. I'm very deep. I, I celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, why do you have that look on your face? Well, look. That look you're trying to hide. It's just... Just... It's just what? So, what nation are you? Punjab. Is that like Ojibwe? Uh, kinda. I'm from Scotland. Don't give me that holier-than-thou attitude. Because I seem to recall a similar look on your face when your mother showed up with Mr. Graham McDougall. McMaster! Whatever. And what's more, I don't think you liked it. You have a problem with him being white? Of course not. I mean, I'm sure he's a very fine man, but this is different. Well, it's always different, but I mean, how is this different? Well, for one thing, he's older. He's from a different generation. She's not used to dating white guys. She doesn't know. Know what? Well, they can be tricky. And how many white guys did you date before you met me? Again, that's, that's, that's completely different, completely. Mm. Every moose meat? Every Murgmakai with Rajma? I heard there was over a billion people in India. Yeah, I heard that too. Ever been to a powwow? Ever done at Spangra? Ever gone command when you're killed? What are you saying? I'm a racist? 
And he's saying I'm a racist? How can I be a racist? I married you. Yeah? Well, how can I be a racist? I married you. So what are we saying? I'm not sure. All right, so let's, let's reassess so we can decide what it is we're fighting about. OK. Are you OK with your mother dating Mr. McMuffin? McMaster. Whatever. I guess. In fact, yes. Yes, I am. I'm just a little shocked. What about you and? Ahab? A rune. Whatever. Uh, yes, it's fine. Sure. Uh, you know, Indian, dot, feather, motorcycle. Doesn't matter. But I reserve the right to hate him because he's dating my little girl, my Vicky. Now, is that still allowed? Well, I don't think any Human Rights Commission can take that right away from a father. You know, I think your mother had something to do with this. Because she's been giggling far too much. I think she might have set the whole thing up. You know, I wouldn't put it past her. It's really nice to hang out with you and your family. Since my wife died, I haven't had a chance to get out much. I can tell. Mm. Sorry about those little brats giving you a hard time. <laughs> Are you kidding? You know what it's like around my house? This is actually kind of fun. Okay. <gasps> uh, so you're going with the traditional smoked meat, eh? What? Uh-oh. Dad! <laughs> uh All right, so, uh, we know where we stand. Yep. Do you realize this was a totally silly conversation? It was completely unnecessary. Well, I am the master of unnecessary conversations. So, let's, uh, get back to the kids and your new father, the Highlander. Ma! <laughs> Children, I'll save the meat. I got one, I got one, honey. Lovely. Just lovely. I may cry. I'm hungry. We all are. Well, we still have all of the potato salad, the coleslaw, and the hamburger buns. You want us to eat the hamburger buns? Like, by themselves? That's sad, Mom. Real sad. Well, I'm just trying to salvage the afternoon. I don't hear any of you coming up with any great ideas. I'll just have some coleslaw. I wasn't going to eat that stuff anyway. Most Punjabi Hindus are vegetarian. <laughs> See, we're so compatible. <laughs> I'm so delighted. Hey, that's an intertribal song. What's that? It's a type of social song or traditional native dance for all tribes and nations. People of any culture can join in and dance. Interesting. I'm too hungry to dance. We need we are same muck. It's time for plan B. <laughs> the hunter-gatherers have returned. Now talk about intertribal. That's Italian food cooked for Ukrainians and Cree and Punjabi and English. Uh, technically, I'm Scottish. Yeah, good for you. Now, this may not exactly be traditional First Nations fare from the area, but it was in the same area code. I don't know about you, but, man, you wouldn't believe the heat I'm getting from my family for dating a Ukrainian girl. If they're afraid I'm going to come home smelling like borscht or something. <laughs> Indeed, I know what you mean. My two daughters are teasing me about turning into Grail. Who? Oh, never mind. 
Hey, Dad. Shakriya G. You did what? <laughs> it's thank you in Punjabi. Oh, oh, well, uh, well, thank you. <clears throat> Let's go intertribal. Give me that Indian flu real quick. Ha, yeah. Come on. Uh, everybody put your hands in the air and let me hear you clap with me. Clap with me now. See when we hit the middle of the road. Good evening with the middle of the road. See when we hit the middle of the road. Good evening with the middle of the road. Make the room get the hit the zone. Hold your hand with your tips of clock. Come over here and come dance with me. What's going on tonight, girl? Let me see. Ajaja, <laughs> 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 